Yeah, there was a little bit of confusion with speeding because someone had stopped. I wasn't sure what they were doing, and then they put on their light to turn. Mm -hmm. So I thought that maybe they were letting me go through. Oh. Did you see that? No. Mm -mm. Jennifer, let me start with you. What's your observation of the video? What stuck out to me the most in this video is his just trying to convince her things that really weren't true. Um, he, he goes through this whole uh, discussion about somebody coming into the intersection and, and that they were going to stop and that's the reason he did it. And then she says, well, no, I didn't see that. So it's kind of like him trying to buffalo her, you know, well, in Pennsylvania, we do it this way. And so I think for me, it just gives me insight as to the way he tries to manipulate a situation to have it make sense and go on his side. I know that in New York traffic law, um, you're not supposed to enter an intersection unless you can make the turn for exactly this reason, which is what the lawyer said in Washington. I'm not making an illegal point. I'm saying, did he just lie to a cop? And if he did so, he, he did, it, uh, did it well. He was very smooth with it. Uh, so, Brian Enton, how does this square uh, with what pro prosecutors are trying to say about this man? Listen, I think it's interesting. I can't really remember hearing his his voice this way. I, I'm just fascinated by listening to him talk after covering him for so long to hear him talk this way. As Jennifer said, I mean, he's very, very measured. He's very, very calm. He seems calculated in the video. Seems like he's trying to explain to the officer like he knows what he's talking about. Um, I, I just found that not really surprising based on everything we've learned about him. I expected in a situation like this uh, that he would remain sort of calm and, and neutral.